Oh, it's a shit fucking day. I can't seem to wake up today. I'm freaking doing absolutely everything possible. Drinking coffee. Well, I haven't had coffee yet, but that'll be my next stop. I can just drink coffee here, but I feel like going for a ride before work. Oh, and ladies and gents, as you probably would have already known, uh, new pipe on the bike. I'll uh, go around it with the camera. She's a bit dirty at the moment, as is the whole bike. Needs to wash this rain that's uh, been happening all the time. It doesn't seem to be j just rain, it's just raining mud. The joys of having coal mines in your area, all the dirt in the air. But sick! It's too fucking quiet though, so I'm actually planning with my uh, mechanic um, getting rid of the cat with a mid pipe, but incorporating the servo that is in there somewhere up here, I think, yeah. Um, so then that way, for one, I don't have to buy one of those servo eliminator fucking plug things to stick in my ECU. Um, furthermore, those that don't understand what a servo does, and there's a big debate as to what it does, um, but on a bike that's not spending the majority of its time in 10,000 plus RPM all the time on the track, that little servo motor in there is to keep enough back pressure in order to maintain torque at bottom end. So, and this this isn't coming from me, this is coming from someone that works on the Yamaha racing team fucking motorbikes. Um, a bloke that has to constantly fix other mechanics fucking problems because they obviously don't know what they're doing and he does. So, you know, because I asked him, should I take it out, and he goes, no, because you'll, you'll lose a lot of your bottom end uh, usable torque. And if you actually watch dyno charts with a stock one of these, the torque actually just goes up really spastically fast, drops off a little bit when the, the servo opens, and then it goes back up. So it's essentially boosting torque down bottom end, and the dyno chart has proved that. You don't really feel it, though. You don't feel the drop. Well, well, I don't. Well, I'm fucking gunning it. I don't feel nothing but getting pushed back, having to hold on for dear life, and hope for the fucking best. It's only slightly louder than... Ow, I just got hit in the face by something. Um, slightly louder than stock. Has a, a nice throw to your noise, so I'm thinking... That uh, once I get rid of the cat, it'll become a lot louder. But because the new pipe has um, like a throatier sound to it, it will sound a lot better than if I did the same thing with the stock pipe. So I've looked. I've. Uh, I mean, it's so fucking hard to find decent threads on YouTube these days. Uh, YouTube, what the hell, on the internet these days? In forums and whatnot, about decatting and all that sort of shit. But a lot of people I've come across said, uh, you will have to dyno tune it, um, but you'll gain anywhere between five to eight horsepower, which is fucking amazing. Only problem is, dyno tuning's not exactly cheap. But, I'll get there eventually, once I deal with my current bills, because my car is not registered at the moment, so I'm just doing nothing but riding. Uh, so I'm dealing with fucking car issues at the moment, where one of my cylinders is not firing. It's a very big disappointment. So I'm going to do it, oh fuck, I need to get fuel. Um, Gonna get that cylinder compression tested once I get the tool off the bloke. 
And if the cylinder comes back okay, well, we think it may be out my intake valves that are the problem. So I've never had to deal with that shit. And there, because my engine sort of sits under the top of the fucking, the firewall sort of curves down and the engine's like sitting underneath it. They'll pretty much have to pull the engine out to do it. So if they have to do that, I'm just gonna get them to quote up forged pistons and stuff. So then that way I can turn up my boost. Oh yeah, all that boost. And then I can, only problem is, I'll have to get a limited slip diff as well because fuck me, I'm gonna be doing a lot of single leggers if I turn up my boost. Only problem is, turning up boost on my car it's not as easy as you would, like, as doing it with a turbo. I've got to change fucking pulleys and fucking the serpentine belt. It's a pretty shitty day. It's not as windy as I was expecting it to be though, because when I walked outside it was pretty windy. But on the bike I just feel normal. Uh, I think I need a rest day from the gym though, holy fuck I am sore. I've been pumping out some pretty heavy sessions on, a, on GAT supplement, which is nit GAT Nitroflex, fucking amazing shit. But god damn, do you feel the pain? Muscles are just like torn to the shit house. Uh, so we got the June long weekend coming up and I'm not looking forward to it because I know I'm going to have to deal with a whole heap of idiots. Because we got race day on, horse races, and everyone's going to be drunk before they even get to us. Luckily enough, for once they finally, uh, they finally figure it out that it's a good idea to have security on. Every other time that I've done long weekends with them, they've never had security. Kind of a really dumb idea. It's all about, ooh, saving money, but what about saving your license if you don't have a license to sell liquor? How on earth are you going to make money to begin with? Yeah, well, you can't tell some people. So hopefully it'll be non-eventful in the sense of, uh, you know, people fighting and carrying on and all the rest of it. Otherwise I may have to bring my RSA marshalling back to life and go help them out.